Today, we're gonna to talk about how bookmarks can help you navigate through a PDF faster. So a lot of times in discovery, we might get medical records that are thousands of pages long. You need to be able to jump from section to section, like nursing notes, progress notes, consult notes, very quickly. The fastest way to do that within the PDF itself is just to use bookmark. So let's head over to the laptop now. And right now I just Googled appellate brief and I got this sample appellate brief from the state of Florida. And this is what we're going to look at here. Fortunately, this document is already OCR. So if you look at it, I can select the text in it already. And if it wasn't already OCR, that's the first thing that I would do. If you don't know how to OCR a document with Adobe Acrobat, click up here and click on that link and there's a video that I've made previously that'll show you how to go through that process. But once you have it OCR, then you can start bookmarking. And the bookmarks, that's on the tools on the left-hand side. If you click on that little triangle, you could see a couple of things. One of the things is thumbnails. That's a nice visual way of very quickly getting through a document. Um, but bookmarks is another really fast way. And this particular PDF doesn't have any bookmarks in it yet. And we're gonna add those as we go. And I'll show you how that can help you navigate through the document much faster. So we've got this document here and let's view it and fit one full page at a time. And we'll go through and as I'm reading this document, let's say either it's a brief or let's say it's a medical record, as I'm going through and I find like a new section, I'm gonna make a bookmark. So first thing I'll say is on page uh, two of the PDF, but page dot uh, lowercase i in the document, there's a table of contents. I'm going to select that text and then I'm gonna right click and add a bookmark. What it has done is it's now created a bookmark on the left-hand side over here, and it has taken the text that I've highlighted and made that the title of the bookmark, so that's nice. Then I'll keep going down further. Uh, we've got a table of citations. And this time, instead of right-clicking and adding a bookmark, I can just hit Control-B, and that's a lot faster because then I can have one hand on the mouse and then another hand on Control-B, and I can just go through really quickly and just fly through and make my bookmarks there. I can keep going through and let's see, next I got a preface, I'll do that. And let's keep going, point on appeal. They do things a little bit differently in Florida than they do in Illinois, but that's okay. Statement of the case and facts, we'll bookmark that. And then I wanted to get to a specific point. I know there's a lot that I'm going through here. So let's go through here. And then now we've got summary of the argument and now we've got the argument itself. So we've got the argument on appeal Bookmark that, A, standard review, and then B, merits. All right, so we've got those kind of sections and subsections. And what I wanna show you is, now let's say I've read the whole thing and I've gotten through it all and now I wanna go back, hey, let's go see what did they say on that point on appeal. I can just come here on my bookmarks and click on it and it brings me that to that exact page. Now, the reason why I wanted to keep going and make a whole bunch of bookmarks until we got to some subheadings is that I can take these, this standard review, and I can click and drag it until it nests. And see that little dotted line over there? It's really faint. If I just bring it up a level, I can rearrange these into whatever order they want so they don't have to be chronological, uh, and which is frequently gonna be the case. Let's say you have a whole bunch of consult notes throughout the course of your medical records, and you wanna put everything chronological without rearranging the order of the pages in the PDF. Using bookmarks is a great way to do that. But I can also nest things. So if I have nursing notes as a heading in my medical records PDF, and I wanna have specific days, I can nest those as well. And so if I move over to the right, or keep moving up a certain level. If you move it just to the right way, then you can see that arrow moves over to the right and I let it go. And now I have this option of hiding or nesting these different items underneath the argument on appeal. The nice thing is when I get to the argument on appeal, it shows me that top section and then uh, depending on my view. So let's say I have my view set to fit to width with scrolling and I'm looking at it here and I go to be the merits. It'll bring me to that page and that exact spot that's also really helpful. So for example, if I have uh, a specific point that I really wanna make sure that I remember as I'm looking forward, look at reviewing this again, maybe I really wanna make sure that I have this phrase in the event of an appeal, right? Let's say that's what I need to bookmark. And that has to go as a sub event under the merits. Now, if I go through here, I've got a whole bunch of different things. I can navigate wherever I want, but then if I get to that specific line or phrase that I had highlighted, it put that 
with the highlight already on it because it wasn't a heading. It put it right there with that section highlight so that I know what I'm looking for. So that could be really helpful if you're working in the team, you send this PDF to someone else, like click on that bookmark, they'll get sent to that exact page with that specific portion highlighted. So that could be really helpful. Uh, you can change the names uh, uh, and reorganize them so you can right click on any of these. Let's say you don't want it to say table of contents. Let's say you want to just name it TOC, right? Table of contents. Or let's say you don't like how everything's all capitalized. It's how it pulled over from the PDF, but let's say you don't want it to be all capitalized. You can retype it and give it whatever text that you want, but the link to that particular point in the document will always be there. So no matter where I go, it still brings back that table of citations. So if you also want to just make sure someone looks at something, you can rename it. So look at this. You can even give them a note or a message in the bookmarks. And when they click on it, let's go to another page, click on that. It highlighted that portion that we originally highlight. So it remembers that. So it's a pretty smart tool. I wouldn't recommend necessarily putting commentary in your bookmarks, but if that's how you want to use it and that makes sense for you, that's something that you could do. It always remembers what you highlighted when you made the bookmark. So I think that's really helpful. If you have any other questions or tips on the bookmark feature in Adobe Acrobat or in Adobe Acrobat in general, feel free to leave in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one.